Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, to complete the story about uh, something that happened with the Patch Tuesday updates this week, we uh, told you that some of you have uh, seen that a new folder was created in the uh, same drive that you have Windows. And of course, there's a lot of comments, uh, including some comments people say, no, this was always there. It's not new. It is new for those that the Internet Information Service is off, which is most people. So those did not have it before Patch Tuesday. That doesn't mean you didn't have it because some people might have it depending on how their Windows version is configured. It affected only 24H2. And I see some people saying, well, I have it on, on Windows 10. Well, if you want to know if you got if you can remove it or not it's very simple go and search for the uh, windows features turn windows features on and off so you just search windows features and then you click on it and this window you will see a list of items. Some are there with a little check mark. Some are not. It depends on your system. If you see that there's a check mark in front of Internet Information Services and Internet Information Services Hostable Web Core, that means you should leave it there because you have this IIS service on. It is a folder that it needs and it creates itself for that but if like me and for most people that's the way it is there are no check marks that means these services are not installed which means that folder that was here the um, uh, ipubnet folder is not required you don't you don't need that it was created temporarily while the patch use the updates were installed um, kind of hinting that it just turned on IIS for something. And then it just, you know, restarted and it was not on anymore. And of course, those that also have that temporary folder that was just created, it's empty. If you see that yours is not empty, then leave it alone. That's a different thing. And it depends on what your PC has installed and what you're using on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.